Okay, everybody, let's continue our expedition into the mind of that elusive friend, the abstract stack machine. So we're going to be looking at an example with pattern matching and recursion and seeing how that works on this simplification model. So here's the, the chunk of code that we're going to be simplifying. We have this append function that we are defining, which takes two generic TK lists and appends them together. And it's a local let, so we're going to be using this function to append this list A, which is just one, to this int list B, which is two, three, in this function call append AB. And then we're going to look at this whole thing on the abstract stack machine uh, simplification model. Let's move this to the workspace. We have the workspace, and then the, the stack, and then the heap on the abstract stack machine. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is just remember the, the nil here and cons. For this, these are just constructors for lists, and we have these nice bracket and colon shorthand for it to help to help us visualize them because they're so common. But for our purposes, it's gonna be it's gonna be nicer to see them in that in that raw constructor form. So let's do that. Notice now we have this nil, and it's actually the word nil and cons, and these are these two constructors. Cons takes two arguments. The first one is the element. And then the second one is, is the list that you want to cons the first argument, that element, onto. And this constructor format is just is, is more friendly with, with the abstract stack machine for our purposes. So what's the first thing that we do when we simplify on the abstract stack machine? We look at the leftmost expression, and you get it ready. So our leftmost expression is this entire function definition. And but it's still it's still a let binding, and this is going to be ready when whatever is coming after the equal sign is a value. So everything that's coming after this equal sign, we want to get it to be a value. Remember, and we stress this so many times in class: functions are values. So how can we show that? Just like this, we use this anonymous function a, a, a definition of append. So append is going to be equal to this anonymous function, which takes the same arguments and does the same thing. And this allows us to actually have something that we can point to on the heap. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to copy uh, this entire thing to the heap, just like this. And then we can point to it from the workspace. Notice. Now append is just this this binding pointing to its value in the heap, which happens to be a function definition. But but there's nothing else here that's differentiating append from any normal binding that we've seen on the stack so far, any normal identifier. So we can now move it and push this to the stack. So we create the stack binding right there. And we have it point to its value in the heap. Now we can take it off the workspace. Cool. Now we can keep chugging along. Notice we we did the exact same thing with append that we've been doing so far. We have the let declaration and then we push the binding to the stack pointing to its value on the heap. Now let's do the same thing with, with A. So A is equal to cons one nil. So it's just the singleton list of one. Uh, just like when we saw with that plus sign, the primitive operator, it's ready when both of its arguments are values. So, so let's look at the arguments to cons. We have one and we have nil. One is a primitive int. It's obviously ready. Now, what about nil? Nil, we need to we need to get that ready, and we do that by allocating a cell, a nil cell, to the heap. So we now have nil on the heap, and we have and we and we put it in its cell, and then we can point to it just like before from the workspace, just, just like this. Okay, now cons is ready because both of its arguments are our values. It's one and nil. So let's allocate a con cell to the heap. I'll write it out here. We have cons. Uh, first argument is one. Second one, what's the second argument? We can look on the on the workspace and we see that it's it's going right here to nil. Now a can be pointing to cons, to to its value in the heap, and now this let declaration for a is going to be ready because whatever is to the right of the equal sign is now a value. 
So let's make this binding on the stack that's pointing to its value on the heap. Clean that up a little bit. And now that it's been pushed to the stack, we can remove it from the workspace. Now what's the leftmost expression? We have another let binding for B. And we can do the exact same thing that we just did with A. B is equal to this constructor, which takes these two arguments. The first one is two, it's ready. Now the second one is not yet ready. It's another cons, cons uh, constructor, which is taking three and nil. So we have this nested thing going on. We need to get this nil ready so that this entire cons is ready, so that this bigger cons is ready, so that this entire let binding of B is ready. So let's do exactly what we just did. Let's make a nil cell on the heap, allocate that cell, and then point to it from the workspace. Now we can allocate this next cons cell. So we have cons three, nil. And again, we put its two arguments just in, in these boxes to the right of the cell. And then we can take that off the workspace and point to it, like so. Now we can allocate this cons cell. So we have cons two. And then uh, the second argument is, where is it going? We look on the workspace and we follow the arrow and we see that it's just going to that con cell above it. And this represents the list two, three on the heap. Now we can, now we can point to it from the workspace, like so. And now this entire let binding for B is ready. So we can, we can push it to the stack. Where is it pointing to? You follow the arrow from the workspace and we, and we make the arrow go right there and we make it, and then we can remove it from the workspace. Now, nice. So all of the stack bindings are ready to go. We have everything that we need to be able to, to tackle the meat of this problem, which is the, the call append AB.